Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Faster online accounting. Learn QuickBooks Online keyboard shortcuts. You know, back when I was using desktop uh, pretty much every day, all day, I figured out how to use the keyboard shortcuts pretty easily. In QuickBooks Desktop, it's pretty easy to learn on your own because you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. If you've got a PC, it's probably the Command key if you're on a Mac. And you'll see that the menu items across the top will each, uh, an underscore will appear under one of the letters of each of those commands. So Alt and that letter will activate that menu as though you had clicked on it. And then once the drop-down menu appears as it does in desktop, then you'll notice many, if not all, of the items in that submenu will also contain an underscored letter. At that point, you don't even need the Alt key anymore. You can simply hit that underscored letter and it will activate that command. Now, because we tend to be habitual in terms of the things that we do, Um, A lot of times you'll start uh, figuring out uh, keyboard shortcuts to things you do frequently and they'll start becoming second nature. So as quickly as you think of it, using the keyboard shortcut, you can bring the screen up. The way I like to explain it is that I can bring it up at the speed of thought. As quickly as I can think of it, I can have an enter bill screen or a pay bill screen or a reconcile bank account screen right up. Well, QuickBooks Online has the same thing. The keyboard shortcuts are a little different because you're working in your browser. So they actually, I'm assuming this, of course, that what they've done to avoid any conflict with the browser-based commands is it's generally going to be Control-Alt and then a letter. And in the write-up, I show you how you can actually get a list of some of these commands. But then there's more, which we're also going to go through in the write-up. And I'm going to show you how all this works in the rest of the video, like how to quickly get dates up, how to quickly move between fields in a form, which, by the way, also worked in QuickBooks Desktop uh, using the Tab key. And Shift-Tab goes backwards through the fields. So there's a lot of little tricks like this that will make you a much faster, more effective, more efficient user of QuickBooks Online. It's going to slow you down at first, and that's the challenge because a lot of people hesitate because we don't want to be slowed down. That seems counterintuitive. But you're slowing down in order to speed up. You're slowing down because you're learning a new way of doing it. But once you get this down, once you start remembering the keyboard shortcuts, especially for the things that you do frequently, you'll get so much faster than the way you're doing things by grabbing the mouse. And it might not seem like it makes a big difference, but when you multiply the number of times on any given day, if you're like me and you're working in QuickBooks Online all day, multiply the number of times any given day you grab the mouse to click on something that you could do much faster by not taking your hands off the keyboard to grab that mouse, that starts to add up and it makes a huge difference in terms of your productivity. So let's take a look. Let me show you what these keyboard shortcuts look like. And don't forget to check out the blog post. At the bottom of the blog post, I have a link over to an article on firmthefuture.com Uh, with more on the same subject. So uh, let's take a look. I'll show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in QuickBooks Online. Okay, we're going to learn QuickBooks Online keyboard shortcuts just as we did in desktop many, 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 many years ago. So let's take a look. First of all, if you want to play around, let's go to the QuickBooks test drive file from the Nerd Enterprises website. Come over here to links. Easiest way to do it. Plus, it gets you onto my website, which I like. Right here, QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Click over there. It'll launch. You have to confirm you're not a robot. Wait until it's done doing its little thing. If you click too quickly, it's not going to let you in. Okay, now we're in. Now we can go play. So real quick, and this is actually a browser shortcut, more so than it is a... uh, QuickBooks Online shortcut, but Control F as in find in your browser will launch your browser's find feature, which is often a very useful way to search for things that are on your screen in the current web page you're on. Being that this is a browser shortcut, of course, this works in any application that you ever use anywhere. So it's cool. It even works in WordPress when I'm trying to find a category that I want to tag a post to. I use this now because I got a lot of categories and it takes me a while to surf through them, so to speak. So next thing, if you want a list of the keyboard shortcuts, a lot of them, then we're going to hit control and the alt key and the question mark key. And that combination, control, alt, question mark, will bring up your company ID. Don't go writing this one down. This is for the sample company file, which by the way, you'll want to have with you anytime you're ever calling QuickBooks Online support, which happens to be very good, by the way. Uh, I've got the diamond support myself. It's excellent. Get somebody on the phone quickly. Get somebody who's not reading off a script. Somebody who can actually listen to me, understand the problem, and get me a solution. I was not paid to say that. I could have been, but I wasn't. 
Anyway, um, here you have a list of common shortcuts. So remember, everything is with Control and Alt, or if you're on a Mac, it's going to be Control and Option, right? So Control Alt I will launch the invoice form, right? Control Alt and the letter I. Let's try that. Control Alt I. Uh, sorry, con no, that's right. Oh yeah, there it is. It took a second. So, and and I mentioned this in the write-up. I'm going to tell you this now while you're watching this video. If nothing else, if you haven't already brought up a QuickBooks Online company so you can practice this, stop the video, pause it. Go bring up QuickBooks Online. You're not going to learn this stuff just watching me do it. You're going to learn it by actually saying, oh, wow, that's cool. Let me try that. And then doing it. And then force yourself to get out of the habit of touching the mouse and force yourself to keep your hands on the keyboard. It will slow you down at first, as I said earlier. But in time and as you learn these shortcuts better and faster, you'll get better and better. And actually, you'll, at your speed will improve tenfold compared to what it might be now. So control alt I and of course control alt question mark. You can go through each of these. I'm not going to sit here going through each one of these for you because you can obviously see and read and understand. Now this is what works from regu regular pages, right? The right hand side is our keyboard shortcuts that work while you're inside a transaction, right? So, and again, it's still control and alt or option, right? And control alt X will get out of that transaction view. Uh, control alt C will cancel it. Uh, then you have save and new, save and close, save and send, and of course print. Please don't ever print. We never print. We're in a cloudy world today. We should never need to print anything ever. It should be forbidden. Um, so that is how you can d use those keyboard shortcuts. Now let's go back into an invoice control alt I to use as the example because now I want to talk about some navigation tips. Uh, and what I'm about to show you, by the way, also works in lots of other applications. Let's try this again, control alt I. There it is. Now notice when I launched the invoice without touching anything, I didn't click in it, my cursor is flashing in the uh, customer dropdown, right? It's waiting for me to tr choose a customer. Before I do that, watch my cursor. When I hit the tab key, it now moves into the email. When I hit it again, notice the send later box is faintly checked off. It's letting me know that right now I've selected that and if I hit the space bar, it actually selects it. Hit the space bar again, it unselects it. Shift tab, back to the email, shift tab again, back to the customer. So tab, shift tab will toggle you through the different fields and when you get onto a checkbox, the space bar either activates or deactivates that choice. So really, really handy to know. What else can we do when we initially come in here and we're looking at our customer dropdown? Alt and the down arrow will actually activate that dropdown the same as if I had clicked on it. Now at this point, if I know what I'm looking for, I should probably just type it because that's always going to be faster than browsing the list. But if I want to browse the list because I don't know what I'm looking for, I don't know exactly how it's spelled, then my down arrows, my page down will get me down very quickly, right? Up arrow, down arrow, and once I've got what I want selected, I hit the tab key and that sort of confirms the selection, right? So again, I use my alt down arrow to activate the drop down. Page down will scroll, will do a large scroll up or down the list in case your list is very long. A simple up or down arrow will go one at a time. And once you've got the item that you want selected, hit the tab key and that will confirm your selection, okay? Um, if you're scrolling down a list that has sub items, right? I saw some sub, so let's say we want that 0969 Ocean View, right? You can start typing 0969, and again, that's going to get it right away. But again, let's say I don't know that that's what it's called, and I just want to, but let's say I know it's part of Freeman. So I can go to Freeman, okay? And then I can type 0969, sorry, no, then I back up. <laughs> I can use my arrow at this point and select it. Um, but there was also a way where if you, Start typing the first few letters of here. Well, either way, now it's using the arrow key is the easiest thing you can do to then select the uh, sub item. So that's how I do that. And again, you select, you press tab once you've got what I need. Now, let me tab forward until I'm in the invoice date. The invoice date, again, alt down arrow, drop down, gets you the calendar, right? Alt and down arrow gets you the calendar, tab key, confirm selection. But there's a few hidden secrets in here. It's actually also worked in desktop that are really cool. So um, let's say I want the first day of the week. I can hit a W and that gets me the first day of the week. Alt down arrow will confirm that the 19th was the first day of the week. Now you know what date I recorded this video. If I want the last day of the week, I can hit a K. K will get me to the last day of the week, which in this case is post dated Saturday, right? We're talking about a calendar week here. Okay, if I want the first day of the month, I can hit an M. 
right? That gets me right to August 1st. And if I want the last day of the month, I can hit an H, and that gets me right to the last day of this month. If I want to get to the first day of the year, let's hit a Y. That gets me to January 1 of this year. And the last day would be an R. Gets me to December 31st of this year. And once again, Alt and Down Arrow will get me through uh, into a month. And then once you've got the calendar activated, you can use your arrow keys to uh, select and move around to different months and so on and so forth. It does not look like you can move it to select days per se, which would actually be really cool if you could. Um, anyway, um, saving transactions or forms, pretty much control alt S will save. Of course, I'm getting yelled at because I haven't really filled out the form, but control alt and S will save a transaction or any form that you might be in when you press that. So just to quickly recap, first of all, tell everyone about this video. Tell all your friends about how cool this video is with the little pop-ups that show you the keys I'm hitting as I talk about hitting them and, and as I'm actually hitting them. Uh, tell everyone. Also, make sure you check the write-up. At the bottom of the write-up, I've got a link over to an article on the Firm of the Future blog, which gives you more of the same kind of information. It's their article on the, same, the very same subject. And share this video. Share it with all your friends. Share it with your family. Tell your mother about it, your grandmother, your grandchildren, whoever. Make sure everybody knows about this video. It's really important for people to learn how to use uh, keyboard shortcuts in QuickBooks Online. If you learn these QuickBooks Online keyboard shortcuts, you will achieve faster online accounting. The trick is to force yourself to use these instead of grabbing the mouse. I said it earlier. I'm saying it again. The mouse. It, this will slow you down at first, but while you're learning them, it will slow you down at first while you are learning them, but as you learn them, and the more and more you force yourself to practice them, they will begin to become second nature. And then you'll be able to enter forms and move through forms or move through screens in QuickBooks Online at the speed of thought. Uh, that's it, folks. As always, I hope you learned something here, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web.